Hey, so now let's learn how to use the offset tool. What offset means, and here's an example of it here in the corner. What offset means is that you're going to create another one of these shapes perfectly centered in your starting shape within those walls or outside of those walls. And how far are you going to offset your new walls? The offset is the distance away from your starting shape. So if you have this uh, little like market stand over here that we did the rotated rectangle on, zoom into that and come around the other side like we're going to do some windows. Like we're going to use this wall to do some windows, okay? Um, you can do this with any shape, but why don't you follow along if you don't know how to do this with the way I'm doing it now with a rectangle tool, okay? The straight rectangle tool, not a rotated rectangle. Draw a window the size you'd like to make it. You can, again, don't forget, you can command the size of these specifically by simply letting go and typing in what you want. Right now, that's like two, almost three feet by three feet. Oh, it's a square. Huh. Uh, let's say three apostrophe, that's three feet, comma, change dimensions, three feet, enter. Now I have a three foot by three foot square. Offset it. You do it like this. Go to the push pull tool set. The last tool has a curved line with an arrow going out. Offset. Go inside and it becomes dotted. Anything that is about to be offset or affected is going to be dotted. So you could offset that wall. You could offset this outside part. You could offset the inside part. Let's just offset the square. Left click, hold it and you'll come closer and closer to that. How much? Look at your distance away from your original shape that you are. Right now, I'm about one and five eighths inch. Okay, why don't I let go and just type in two shift apostrophe, which is quotation marks, and enter. So there's an offset of two inches. Cool. Now let's do something interesting. Take the line tool and feel free to pause this at any time while you practice this and come back and just unfreeze me. me. Click on the midpoint, pull it down, and divide this inside offset square across the middle. And you're going to make the simulation of an actual window pane. But let's get even more complex where we offset each one of these squares. Quick, try to do that. Offset. And go with a consistent offset, like just type that in. Let's do one inch. One, shift apostrophe, which is quotation marks, enter. Offset this one, one inch, offset one inch, and offset one inch. Boom. Now, here's what we're doing. <clears throat> You're going to get rid of these inside lines and just have the others. So take the eraser tool and click right, <coughs> right in the middle, and you can hit all four lines at one time. Boom. Now, you could push-pull this window frame out from the wall and this inside window pane area out just a little less. And you get the impression that you actually have a three-dimensional window surface on the side of your wall. That is so cool. Ta-da! And I'm going to show you how to use materials later. Let me just show you real quick what you could also do with offset. It's not just for windows. Like you could offset an entire area that could be your house. So if you're looking down on the ground somewhere, just draw a shape like a rectangle on the ground and draw another one to intersect that. So you can have all sorts of fun shapes. You could even do a polygon and a, another polygon. Let's do triangle. Now, quickly erase those lines in between and just leave the outside shapes. And if you want, you can sweep over all those lines to turn them blue to erase them a little faster. Now, offset that. Ready? See if we can do it before it runs out. Boom. So that offset is like a sidewalk. 